Did your father teach you nothing? The Order has grown complacent. For centuries, we focus our attention on the trappings of power, the titles of nobility, the officers of church and state. Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. Revolution, the Order will adapt. They will retreat to the shadows, and we will at last be the secret master of the men to be. You cannot have. <laughs> Through this revolution, a new Order will be born. Through this revolution, a new Order will be born. When the chains bend with gold and silver. So kill me, if that will slake your thirst for revenge. I will find you. Hello, you It changes nothing. Safe from your shadows. So obsessed with clinging to the trappings of power, we abandoned our purpose. The darkness cannot protect you. Shepherd them. Caught in a very lie, we crafted to shepherd the masses. I'll kill you! Have you heard nothing I've said? My design is larger than my own life. I will find you. Through this revolution, a new order will be born. When the chains bend with gold and silver. Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. I'm stuck. Almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise!
Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Those great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Jack de Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. That I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. The new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her.